Whew. It's been a long road today, but we're finally here. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of TLC Trash Fire. I am, of course, your host, Cody. And before we get started with the video, if you haven't subscribed already, please do me a favor and smash that subscribe button before we even get started with the video. So in today's video, we are going to dive in to the new Nikki and Igor clip. So on the last episode of 90 Day Fiance, which is of course season 10, episode 9, Igor came out and let us know that he'd been actively cheating on Nikki the entire time that they'd been together. Just friendship, friendly sex, I don't know how it's called. You have friendly sex with your friend? Ever since they got back together after their big blowout breakup where Nikki got mad one day and basically came out and told Igor that she was transgender, since then, since that time, and when they got back together, Igor apparently has been having fuck buddies all over the place, and we don't know who these women are, so it's a very bizarre situation. And basically what happened was, Nikki got the vibe that he had been cheating, and she gave him the opportunity, a safe zone, to come out and say that he had been seeing other women had sex with, slept with. I mean, now is the time to tell me I'm not gonna judge you. So Igor hesitated, he heed and hawed for a few minutes, and finally he said, yep, I've been seeing other women. And of course, Nikki got very upset. And to put a cherry on top, Igor was also laughing. He was trying to hold back laughing while basically telling Nikki that he'd been cheating on her the entire time. So for all you guys out there that love Igor, think he's a great guy, and honestly, I think Igor is a pretty decent guy, this was kind of a blow. All the videos I've made in the past about Nikki and Igor, I've been saying that, I've, I've been basically gaslighting Nikki because I'm like, she's crazy. You know, they're, they're having a, a, a few issues right now because Igor is trying to get back in the swing of things. He's feeling a little off. But the thing is, when they went on vacation to Mexico and times that they met in the past, they had a lot of sex. All of a sudden, Igor can't, can't get it up. Can't get it up, to put it bluntly. And they've only had sex twice this entire trip, which is a pretty long trip. So it's starting to get to Nikki. And then when they do have sex, it's only after they're both in a drunken stupor and Igor rolls over with a heart on at 3 a.m. and basically does a quickie. So Nikki was already feeling insecure about that and now she's had all her insecurities and suspicions validated when Igor came out to her and says, yes, I've been seeing other women. So anyway, that is what we're working our way up to with this new clip. So as usual, guys, let's jump right into it. Before I get engaged with Nikki, I had some of like sex friend. Yeah, but who are they? One friend or several? This is like physically needed stuff simple. And this is normal. Yeah, it's normal to want to have sex with other people, but it's immoral to cheat on your partner when you're already in a committed relationship. And basically, I mean, spoiler, but he's going to say that he didn't have a clear understanding of their situation. But how do you get engaged to someone without having a committed relationship prior to that? I know that in some cultures there's like arranged marriages, so you go from not knowing someone to being engaged and getting married, but in Western society, you're in usually, like 99% of the time, you're in some sort of a committed relationship before you get engaged and married. So that's why I was a little taken aback by Igor basically saying he didn't understand their situation and was unclear about it. That's just an excuse. It makes no sense. I don't blame Nikki for being upset either. Nikki's getting very mad, but I don't think uh, Nikki and I ever had a conversation about when we beginning. But how can you get engaged if there wasn't a beginning? How can you go on vacations together and introduce her to your family and friends if you weren't in a relationship? 
That doesn't make any sense. And then, of course, it's perfectly natural to want to have sex with other people, but you're not supposed to do that when you're in a committed relationship. You can masturbate. You can have phone sex. There's lots of different options. So I know a lot of you guys out there aren't big fans of Nikki, and I'm not really a huge fan of her either. But, I mean, this is just wrong, I think, at least. You guys let me know in the comments below, but regardless of what you guys think of Nikki, she's still a human being, and for Igor to cheat on her, I just think it's a moral failing, you know, and he has a very lax view of it, which leads me to believe that he doesn't really care about Nikki. So, what exactly is the ulterior motive here? Is it to come to the United States? Is it to be on TV? Is it all of the above? I just don't I just don't understand this guy. I, I think that there's a lot going on because, you know, he tricked me, honestly. Like I thought this guy was a great guy. I didn't think that he was even capable of cheating. That's why in my earlier videos when Nikki was like, Maybe he's seeing another woman, this and that, that was basically a uh, like a premonition or something like that for what's going on now. And I think a lot of us, too, were like, no, I don't think he's cheating. He's a good guy. Why would he cheat? He's going, he's jumping through all these extreme hoops and putting himself through so much, like, discomfort and pain to be with this transgender woman. So why would he do all that just to be cheating the entire time? But apparently that was the case. And we just missed it, or I did at least. Uh, maybe some of you guys out there saw it or called it. Yeah, he doesn't take her very seriously. I mean, obviously she's really upset, so why are you gonna go up and just like try to bear hug her? I don't know. That's just that's just bizarre. Like, <laughs> give what you like. You can follow her and talk to her. She's walking, but like, obviously she's like really upset, dude. Don't what? Me. What? Why you get off me? What's, What's wrong? Like... What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? It wasn't the best. What's wrong with you? I can't. What's wrong with you? I knew you were f***ing Baby. Yeah, I would call it playing as well because she was sending him money and apparently it's even to the extent that he was getting like plastic surgery with the money that she was sending. Say you don't have a lot of money to begin with and you're sending some dude in Moldova like a quite a bit of your income that hurts to find out that he's cheating on you the whole time we were already together we we're ready to hunt we we're already going on vacations together it talks, we only talks it about our matter. plans it doesn't only matter. talks about our plans it doesn't matter it doesn't matter <laughs> all, all the <laughs> like everything <laughs> just don't. for me it's matter everything I don't know. I really do think he's playing her, to be honest. Like, he's he came out to his family and friends because Nikki basically forced him to, you know? Like, that's... Th them's the breaks to be with her, you know? Like, <laughs> and to come to the U.S. because he has to tell him something. And plus, he's on this TV show. <laughs> so, obviously, he has to tell them. I just don't get it. Like, what? I, I, maybe he's trying to come to the U.S. And maybe he's trying to be on TV to... Uh, become a bigger like social media influencer and get more followers and stuff like that. That that could be the case. I want to go home. No, baby. I'm, I'm not doing this home. engagement. This for me means nothing. For me means if you are here. Just like me. You, you are nothing. here. I mean nothing. No, you are here physically. I mean nothing to you. I mean nothing to you. Your past, my past, yeah. it's mean nothing. Mm -hmm. Let's create our future. I don't know if there's a future, hon. People like me, you know, with a past like mine, don't have many options, and especially with a good-looking person, and as open-minded as Justin's been with me, so... His name's not Justin, girl. Please stop saying it. Where does that leave me if we break up or end our engagement? Like, I'm broken, and I don't know. I don't know. I don't know.
Yeah, I don't know. I, I like I understand where she's coming from, and there's a lot of like internalized transphobia between both of them. So I think that this brought out a lot of her insecurities. Like she probably thinks about, well, am I not enough of a woman for him? You know, uh, and also she's just in a really bad predicament that like she's kind of put herself into because she, like her standards are very high. Obviously, like all the guys that she's been with like in the present and past she always goes after these like six-pack dudes model looking guys she's getting older now you know so i think that she feels like trapped and she doesn't because of her standards and the way that she wants to present herself to society she basically has to be with one of these like really good looking guys so these guys like what well, i mean igor specifically can do anything they want really because you know at the end of the day she's gonna have to forgive them if she wants to maintain this status of having this hot dude and living this lifestyle this jet setting lifestyle all all this you know all, all the stuff that that she wants to present herself as to the outside world <laughs> but his his actions like you know when he when he said that he'd been seeing other women and he like started laughing about it like it's just like it's 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 disgusting to be quite frank like i know a lot of you guys out there think igor's hot and you love the guy and this and that but you gotta admit like that was fucked up <laughs> is that how you come out to your like fiance and say that you've been cheating on her you start laughing about it oh we can fix that Wow, they are really mad. Look at those arms. <laughs> that means super mad. They did one, like, kind of mad take, and then the producers were like, okay, cross your arms and look as mad as you possibly can. So they are pissed. Oh, she's actually packing. Okay. Now I know why you don't want to make love to me. What? Your version? Oh, honey, it's fine. What version? I want to hear. It's fine. What version? Because what? Because what? You could think about that when I'm gone, so. What? You could think about that when I'm gone. Okay, well, I mean, I'm honestly, I'm glad to see that at least she has enough confidence to leave. Like, I, I know a lot of you guys out there, like, probably are disagreeing with me, but think about it. Like, you don't get engaged without having a relationship. So what's this guy talking about? He cheated, <laughs> okay? Just because he's handsome doesn't negate the fact that he cheated and he started laughing about it. I don't even know what to think. I'm hurt. I feel betrayed. I feel used. I feel taken advantage of. It's different if you make an agreement ahead of time. You know, we have an open relationship while we're doing this, you know, this mm -hmm. whole process. And you could do you, I do me. No, that was never discussed. Yeah, that's exactly, I failed to mention that, but I was thinking about that earlier. I was like, you know, if they had an open relationship, then obviously it would have been fine, but no. They didn't. They were in a relationship, a committed relationship. He knew that. I helped Justin when he really, truly needed the most help in his life. You know, helping him financially, whatever he needed, I was there for him. That is a, to me, a relationship. Nikki, baby, how we can fix that? I don't want you to be sad like that. I told you the most important words. I want to be with you, and I love you. I'm feeling like I'm as where you and from feel, where. I feel like you, you think I'm as You are. You literally think it was like, like okay, like, to girls. Like, it wasn't real to you. 
me sending you money, like whenever you needed help, it wasn't real to you? It's starting what, then. What was I? It's starting then. Yes. First, we're searching how to communicate with each other and see if that works. Then I change everything. To give you a ring, this is serious act. Yeah, but don't forget, I love you. Even though uh, Nick is very mad, I don't feel bad because I told some truth. And I'm opening for everybody. I tell my friends and my parents, Nick is trans. This is most important than I said I be with some girl. I'm normal, of course, I like girls. This is normal stuff. Mm, I don't know. I just, <laughs> yeah, it, but I feel like he's playing dumb or something, right? Because he's really trying hard not to be wrong in this scenario because he just, his ego can't handle that. And Nikki made valid points like she was sending money, they are going on vacations together, they were making plans to get engaged. So I just don't understand how that's not a relationship. And I'm sorry, just because... You don't say, like, we are boyfriend and girlfriend. Like, it can be inferred, <laughs> you know, just from the communication and things like that. I don't know, guys. I mean, I guess it should be announced. Like, you should say, will you be my girlfriend? Will you be my boyfriend? Like, that's typically how you start a committed relationship. But he's basically saying... Well, you know, we didn't we didn't make it official that we were committed, so I don't know. I just I honestly don't know how to feel to be honest because there's there's some data missing here. Like that's another thing is like I don't know all of their past. I'm just kind of on Nikki's side from what she's saying like she was sending the guy money, they were going on trips together, all this stuff. To me that's a relationship, so Baby, let me explain it. This we is not gonna happen again. Life like black, white no. position. Igor, you life. That's it. You the colors. Yes. You they are what? It's fine. You. You knew we were serious already. I don't feel like that. You knew. This well, is you why should. I don't understand. Because you should. Because you knew we were already serious. In Mexico. Maybe in your head. You don't think that applying for a K-1 visa, hiring an uh, immigration attorney for us, that's not serious stuff? No, this, huh? This you thought period, it, that was a f joke? Look, this period... And you're you... still f bitches. Can we, uh, this situation, uh, drop in the garbage? Because uh, this situation is if from If I drop nowhere. the situation in the garbage, you're going along with it. Because this situation is from nowhere. Okay? You know what? Like, I'm so emotionally drained right now. I'm just ready to go back to your apartment and do a lot of thinking. Okay, baby. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, she made more valid points. <laughs> Applying for the K-1 visa, that's fucking serious. And then she paid for an immigration attorney as well, and the guy's fucking other girls. Just use your common sense here. He's playing dumb. I'm sorry, I know a lot of you guys are going to disagree with me. <laughs> I already know, because you guys think Igor's hot and this and that, but it's bullshit. I mean, Nikki, like, you know... Everybody has something to say about Nikki, but she's still a human being. And she did a lot for Igor, and... Yeah, I don't know. I knew it. I, I, I think he did. I think he did her wrong here. That's the worst part of it, is knowing... You the higher time, knowing something was off. Like, yeah. why even be with me? For what? Mm -hmm. That's that. That's that's the mystery. It really is. What is he using her for? You know? I personally think it's a combination of things, like a stepping stone. 
Like I come to the U.S., you know, this and that, get my social media going, get some money in my pocket, and then, you know, he'll figure out a way to break it off with her, and he'll be on his own in the U.S. I was already investing so much in my relationship with him, and then for him to not say it was, like, serious enough for him, it makes me question everything at this point. And maybe, like, I'm just, like, questioning everything, and maybe that's why he doesn't want to make love to me. There's someone else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I mean... Pretty much, we we went over everything. I'm I'm surprised by Igor to be honest. Like the whole time in the past, I was like, no, nah, there's no way. He's he's not cheating. Like he's you know he's in love with Nikki. Why else would he do all this? And I thought that the the issues in the bedroom were stemming from maybe her being too aggressive, them fighting too much, her picking, you know, like nitpicking, making issues, creating arguments, stuff like that. But really, it's a combination of everything, and we don't know what else he's up to. Is there still another woman that he's actively seeing? Because Nikki's talking about making phone calls to him, and he's very distracted and annoyed with 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 her that she's calling. So that can only mean one thing, that he's on a date or he's in the bed with another woman. And where's where's his libido? His libido's magically disappeared. The guy obviously has a high libido. When they went to Mexico, it was pound town. It was it was like pound city. But now all of a sudden, Nikki's like begging for scraps of sex with this guy, which is pathetic because obviously he was at some point into her and they were having a lot of sex. So it's just a very strange situation, and honestly, we're just going to have to have to see, you know, what's going to happen. But I'm very disappointed in Igor's actions here, and I think a lot of you guys out there, if you were dating some guy, you know, in a different country, you were sending him money, you were applying for a visa for him, and just because you didn't say one day, are we boyfriend and girlfriend, but he was seeing other women wouldn't you feel betrayed by that wouldn't you call that cheating you know like even if you're not fan a fan of nikki like i know a, like quite a few of you guys from my comments don't like nikki just try to put yourself in her shoes and you know or think of it as like a different woman just just look at the situation from different angles and then come back to me in the comments below and let me know what you think so guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And if you have su subscribed, please, please, please consider becoming a member. It would be an awesome Christmas present to me. What happened was my computer died. So I rushed out today. I went on Facebook Marketplace, immediately contacted the first guy that had a decent Windows laptop, and I went and bought it. You know why? Because I want to put out content for you guys as much as I can on a weekly basis, you know? So please take that into consideration that on this end, like, I put my blood, sweat, and tears into this channel. You know, I'm, I'm like, pumping money into this channel to entertain you guys. So if you could become a member, if you could donate, anything you can do would really help me out. Subscribing helps me out big time. Liking the video helps me out big time. Commenting, replying to a comment, or sharing the video also helps me out. So please make sure to do that, and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Bye-bye.